Hello YouTube! Today I'm the Naughty Librarian. I am doing a classics book haul. Alright, so I did kind of go on a bender <laughs> of collecting pretty classics because I have been having a lot of fun doing drunk classics and now I feel like I've got all the classics that I want at the moment and I've gotten pretty editions of all of them, so yay! <laughs> anyway, I just got a bunch more and let's go through them. Mind you, pretty editions never tell you what the book is about, so I'm gonna try to guess and drink a lot of wine. It's gonna be fun. Let's th start things off here with Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Um, I'm assuming there's gonna be um, a marriage <laughs> and, and people trying to date each other. And I mean, this, this edition is really pretty. It's like a soft kind of leathery cover. And um, yeah, there's someone named Fanny. I'm not 100% sure here. But, like, I feel like this also had orphans. Am I crazy? Did it, does it have orphans? Because I feel like it has orphans. And I, I, some weird part of my brain remembers orphans in this going together. And then, um, you know, marriage and, and getting finding a dude and, like, getting together and, like, you know, all that Jane Austen, like, cleverness. <laughs> Except this time there's orphans, I think. So, yeah, Mansfield Park. I got this edition. It's actually really nice. It's like a good heft to it. You know what I mean? It's like feels hefty. I like it. I got this Penguin Clothbound Classics Collection edition of Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. Uh, this is like classic smut, everybody. I am really excited to read this one. So Lady Chatterley's Lover was very controversial when it came out. So there's Lady Chatterley. She's kind of a rich lady. And then like, she's not really being satisfied by her husband. I think he was like, has a war injury and like he can't. So like, that's a bad situation. Like, I, I don't really like that she's like cheating on him unless he's okay with it. I don't really know. But then she starts fucking the gardener, I think. Or the, the, like the landskeeper. I, I'm not sure. So basically, what I think it is, um, do you guys remember that SNL skip with, at the, the romance bookstore? And the guy is just like... And I am a dirt man who knows only sex. I think it's that. But like classier, because it's by D.H. Lawrence. <laughs> Probably going to be fairly tame, smut-wise, the era was written in. But honestly, it got banned in a lot of places. This is a classic smut. I'm in. I'm so excited. I also got this really pretty edition of Robinson Caruso. Um, again, I don't really know what it's about. Um, there's like a, an island. I think it's about this guy who gets stranded on a deserted island by himself. And then he's got to do adventure stuff. I think that's what it is. That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> like I said, I am really shitty when it comes to reading classics. I like have not read very many. And oh boy, yeah. So Robinson Crusoe, I think is a guy on a deserted island and he's gotta like get off the island and he's like crafty. <laughs> there you go. I got this gorgeous edition of The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling. I cannot say words because this is not the first video I filmed today and I've drank a couple glasses of wine already, but Rudyard Kipling. This is the best I can do. <laughs> I mean, we all kind of know what the Jungle Book is. It's Mowgli and they're like, he, he's a kid and, he, and he's in the jungle and, he, and, he's, and he, he's growing up around all these like animals and he's friends with them and then he, animal adventures in the, in, the, in the rainforest or the jungle. Yeah, the jungle. And he's doing stuff. There's, there's, there's a tiger. <laughs> there's a bear. Oh my, there's all kinds of stuff. So yes, the Mowgli stories. I mean, we all know what this is kind of about. I also got this pretty edition of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Here's the thing. Everyone's gonna gasp. I have not actually read Jane Eyre. I know, like, I have read Jane Eyre as then I've skimmed it a lot <laughs> for classes. So I know what it's about. I, I know the big twist. Like, it's not like a, it's not gonna fool me. But, um, I actually have not read, sat down and actually read all of the source material. So I am excited. This is a lot of people's favorite book. Um, so you're, you're following Jane. She is kind of like an orphan, another orphan. <laughs> she's got a plane and she's like a governess and she goes and works for this guy. And, and then she and the guy kind of like start a relationship. And then there's all this spookiness in the house, like weird sounds and screams and moans and stuff. So everyone thinks this place is haunted. Spoiler alert, it's not haunted. Takes a turn that's even weirder. <laughs> so 
um, yeah, she finds out the big twist and she leaves. And then, like, I think he gets burnt in a fire. And then she comes back and they're, like, together. There you go. That's, like, a 30-second synopsis of Jane Eyre. So, um, but yes, I do actually want to read the source material. Because I'm sure it's, like, better than it was my 30-second synopsis. I also got a copy of Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. And this one... Oh boy. So this is like a big kind of fantasy adventure story. I know that points like, I think they were like the Lilliputians. Look at me knowing things. And like, they were like little guys and like Gulliver's huge. And I think there's other times where Gulliver's really small and everyone's really big. So it's this guy and he's traveling through all these weird worlds and everything's wacky. <laughs> and he's got to like do stuff. That's all I really know. And, and I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's kind of going to give me like Wonderland vibes where it's gonna be very whimsical and silly and like I'm into that. I got this gorgeous edition of Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert and who um like I rem I used to know what this was about. <laughs> I know it's kind of um like an infidelity story. I think she is cheating on her husband because she's unfulfilled and there's all this other stuff. I hope it's not like Anna Karenina. Like okay you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it. I hate Anna Karenina. There you go. I will never reread it. I hate it. I hate it. I said what I said. Okay, I don't like Anna Karenina. And I'm hoping this isn't like Anna Karenina because the cover is frankly what made me want to buy it. Also, I like saying Gustave Flaubert. Like, I like saying his name. <laughs> and also, you know, it, it's pretty. But I'm hoping I like it better than Anna Karenina because, oh boy, do I hate Anna Karenina. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people like it. I do not. Last up, I got this cheeky little edition of Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. We all know Oliver Twist. He's a scrappy little orphan on the streets doing his thing. And there's a, there's the Artful Dodger and then like other stuff. And he's like mischief and he like pickpockets and stuff. You know, it's Dickensian orphans. It's like a whole genre of itself. I have seen different iterations of this. Like one time I did see... Uh, Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna give you the bare bones of the story and you're gonna have a lot of questions, but it's okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, I saw a uh, S&M themed musical version of Oliver Twist in a sex dungeon. There you go, guys. And you know what's funny? I did not know that's what I was doing that night. <laughs> my friend just said, hey, my friend's in this Oliver Twist musical. Do you wanna go see? And I said, sure. And then I walk in the room and I'm like, this is a sex dungeon. And then like things just went from there. So that's a fun experience I've had in life. How about you? <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's like a big old group of pretty classics I've got recently. I have so much fun doing drunk classics. I mean, the videos don't always like do great, but I have so much fun doing them. And I, I think you guys like them. I don't know. I have fun. So I'm going to keep doing them. And these are all a bunch of classics that I do have interest in. And I'm excited to just get shwasted and read. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Um, what's the weirdest experience you've had related to a classic? <laughs> I told you mine. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye! -bye.